Hi folks, this is an introduction and procedures on how to calibrate Focusrite ISA2 mic preamp, specifically on UAD Apollo Twin Series audio interface. I believe this calibration setup can be applied to either Mark II Thunderbolt type or USB type. For some of you who are not owning UAD audio interface, I hope you can be inspired from this footage so as to help yourself tweak and calibrate your ISA2 no matter what brand or which vendor of interface you are using. So when you read the ISA2 manual, it does have meter calibration section on the bottom of page 9. But the contents on how to calibrate this unit is very very general, plus no any step on calibration even mentioned. Then let's try to google calibration steps for ISA2. Uh, open the browser, so I'll type uh, Focusrite ISA2, how to calibrate. Ok, select this link. Alright, uh, now we have detailed steps to calibrate ISA2 as showing on the screen. But as I followed these four steps, I found there were some vague or too general points that running through real quick. Uh, after contacting with Focusrite technical support, I met this footage and uh, hope I can help ISA2 owners with clear and detailed execution steps. I will not go through the steps on the website. Instead, I'll demo how I connect the cables between the physical UAD Apollo and ISA2, and we'll see how to set up routings on UAD console to make calibration work. Before starting, Prepare a TIS cable for both ends, and an XLR to TIS cable. Note that the cable has to be female XLR. Now we're ready for work on the cable connection. First of all, insert a TIS cable to the line output of the power unit. I'll take line 3, then insert the other end of cable to line input of ISA2. By this connection, we have established a signal flow to allow the test tone travel from Apollo to ISA2. Second step, insert XLR end to XLR output port at the rear side of the ISA2. You can choose either channel 1 or channel 2. Just remember that the line input must be engaged on the same channel for ISA2. Now I'll use channel 1 for calibration. Next, I insert XLR to output. The other end of this yellow cable is to connect to the line input from Apollo. With this cable, you can create another signal flow to let the test tone return to Apollo. Ok, now we have finished the cable routings from the physical devices. It's time to tweak the input output setup for the interface software. Let's click UAD icon to open up UAD console. At the right corner of the application, click Q Outputs icon, then Source to 9304, switch from Mix to 9304, close the pop-up window, and click 9304 here to ensure Source has completely switching. Remember to mute your Apollo. Now I want to use my Pro Tools and create a new track from it. We'll use this track to send a test tone to ISA2. In this track, set I.O. input to none, output to 9 out 304. It doesn't matter if you choose stereo or mono, the signal will go out to 9 out anyway. Let's create another new track. From this track, Set input as line in LR, as this track will receive the signal from ISA2. I'll put it to monitor. I'll remember to rename the track so that we can identify which track is carrying which signal to or from. Real quick. Now I'll insert a test tone in the first track that we have created. Import tools, mix window, track 1. We select plug in, other, signal generator. 
Then level sliding right to minus 6 dB. Watch the signal level from the mix monitor. It should lift to minus 6 dB as well. We will need to turn down the gain level of the Apollo channel that will receive the test signal. I have engaged the line 2 port of Apollo unit, so I will have to turn off the gain level on channel 2. Let's move to ISA 2. On your engaged ISA 2 channel 1, turn up the gain up to line 0. You can also see that the output LEDs are leveling up to minus 12 dB. Now on port tools, click this icon, track record enabled to arm this track. Then watch the mix window. You can see the test signal is running through the routings. A little bit of signal delta between the two channels doesn't matter. Right at this moment, adjust the peak meter calibration knob on the back of ISR2, either clockwise or counterclockwise, to match the level meter to minus 6 dB. OK, now you're done. We have finished ISR2 calibration with the audio interface, and it's good to go. I would like to thank the staff of Focusrite Technical Support for their variable and detailed steps to debug what went wrong during the operation, so that I can share with you about my experience and lesson learned on SR2 calibration. So thank you for your watching. Take care and see you next time.